Hi, Jamie. Can you hear me? Hello, Jamie. I can hear you. Can you hear me? One, two, one, two. Can you hear me? Hello? I've not got any sound at the moment. Okay. Trying okay, to work. I... Hello? I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you as well now. Oh, good, good. Okay. There we are. Fantastic. Uh, let me just... I've just sent the link to Chris again. Okay, yeah, so I, I, I sent. Him. I think I sent. I sent Chris his his login details directly to him. Yeah, um, they they just messaged asking if I had them, so I was just resending. Oh well, you you um, haven't, but you haven't you haven't got them, Jamie. <laughs> I uh, I do. I think you sent me. You sent an email to all of us, which had all of a uh, document. Oh, did I? Oh, I'm so sorry. Details. I'm so sorry. I didn't know I sent it all to all of you. <laughs> I thought I sent it to you individually. No problem. Ah, no, it's all right. I've so I've been able to send that on to. Oh, Chris. that's very kind of you. Great. Well done. I've just come out of an interview for the Disability Arts Online podcast with Colin Hambrook, which oh, was good. really nice. I really like Colin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been he's been with them a long time. He's originated that whole project Early yeah on. he's he's done a huge amount mm. oh that's good so that was a pot he mentioned you were going to he was going to do a podcast with you great oh that's good when will that come out do you know no idea i think the end of the month maybe yeah yeah oh great well that really really i really look forward to hearing that great Okay, there's Chris. Chris, can you can you hear me? Yeah, great, me. fantastic. All right, brilliant, excellent. Is there, is um is anybody else joining us today? Jamie is not there... at the moment. No, nope, that's, so fine. that's fine. They're in they're in rehearsals. Um, and I am not in rehearsals because I'm self isolating before surgery. Yeah. Um, course. and I thought that realistically. I I love getting my head around technical things <laughs> and I find it really satisfying. Um, I've done a lot of things like writing apps by iterating with ChatGPT so that I could learn what I was doing while also doing it. <laughs> and so I Very thought good. if I could get my head around some of the like design and technical stuff now, that it will make the rest of the project a lot easier. Absolutely, absolutely. And I know you mentioned um, about whether it's possible to share a share a screen. The unfortunately that I can't share this screen in this system. But what I can, the best thing I can do at the moment, I can think of doing is is just to move my camera occasionally and show you my my setup. That I can go I can go full screen on that in just a mo in a moment. But that yeah, let me just give you a full screen of that. So that's that I can sort of do I can do a little bit of that. I can put that on a try on a tripod and show you a little bit of what's going on. Um, and I mean I could also open VMix. And you and have a look at it. Look at, yeah. Yeah. You've had a had a little look at what we're doing. Um I'll just put that back for the moment, but uh yeah, and I'll come back to that a little bit later on perhaps and show you some more of that. But as you say, as you rightly say, it's really really good to, to have um to have us uh, to have a kind of get an idea of how it all works technically um 
so so you're more familiar so like understanding the workings of a camera helps you take better pictures really <laughs> so um so yeah so i mean what i've got at the moment is our call on one monitor and then vmix open on my other monitor oh okay okay so you could sort of you've got an idea about what i'm what i'm kind of doing and that sort of thing and i can talk talk you through a couple of things um i've set up <clears throat> i mean what might help um i have prepared quite a few little scenes just to give you some idea and i can just talk you through <coughs> how they how i've kind of constructed them so you could see the basics of of each scene and the sorts of elements that I've, I've been able to bring in and then i can tell you how how they're kind of incorporated would would that be a good place to start should i just sort of take you through the different things i've done that would be brilliant okay let me scroll down then so first of all what i've got here i'm going to just cut bring in this so let me just go back to this screen as well let me show you again what i'm doing here um once again this is um so i've got this on just so you're familiar with this bit here on my screen at the top here that on the right uh the screen that you're looking at on, on my, my picture on the right is my program my sort of program output and i've queued up my next uh shot on the left which i can then fade or cut whatever into the program so um i just fade it in so there we go then i'm fading that in now so that's that's now in the program shot and um that is actually a series of layers in there and i can just try and what i'll try and do and i've just just cut some of these things out so let me just show you for example what um this one here this is actually you a, a, a photo, a, you know, using a photograph basically but i could um just to show you what i've done I've, i'm chroma keying you so I just take the keying off for a minute so i can show you that's that's just the regular file so that that's rather like if you imagine that'd be a live a live video of yourself um yeah. on on a green screen background and i simply just put in just take out cut out the green and i've now, now got you uh, as a kind of object on a on a transparent background so that's how i can now place you of course onto this onto this background set so i could um look at if i just show you that just do your workings the workings of that set uh let me just quickly go to my screen i have that one up there as well um let's just get that up here yeah so i've got this what i've set up here let's go to let's go to that one again in a second um and i'm going to show you what i've got set up in here so you can see this little window that pops up i've, I've just basically i i have, yeah. a, have a setting here i have a i have a little scene that i've set here so it's got a, a orange um uh banner above it which means means that it's in my in my preview monitor so i'm going to just go into my settings on it and now i've got a window that opens up that shows me that the general information about it about that particular um input and um, with this particular input i've got a thing called layers um, which is a really crucial part to all of this. So in layers, I can then put in separate little different things under here, all these different layers. Yeah. And that that is the very background. That's the background layer. Then there's the that's the layer on top of that. And there's a layer on top yeah. of that, and so on and so on. So each as I as I take off each one, you will see that it'll disappear. So that's you gone. And then there's the title gone. And then there's a, a smoke effect that's gone, and then that's the, back, the background. That's all that's left. Then turn that off, and it's gone. So that's how I build up the layers, if you like. If you can see that. I'm trying not to keep my hands still. There we go. So take them off, and then back on. So now let me just show you what that looks like when it's when it's in the kind of 
program mode when I'm looking at it out out like that. So, like I mentioned, I've got I've got your built in different different layers. So so all these these elements behind are all still images actually. Apart from there is a bit of um, you'll see in just a moment. I think it'll happen in just a second. Uh, there's a bit of sort of smoke atmosphere, which is <laughs> actually a bit of green screen smoke that um, appears on there. Why is that? Oh, hang on. Maybe maybe I've taken that off. Have I removed that? Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, you can see it now coming in. So that's just a little bit of sort of atmospheric. This uh, just I think it's just an example. You can, of course, you know, all these things um, for you to decide what you want to try and try and do um, and how you'd like to best use them. But that gives you a bit of bit of depth in in the scene, as it were. Um, we can, I've got other things. I can do all sorts of titles for you. And this is all taking stuff from, from your performance. So we can do things like this, put titles on top of you as well. Um, that's, so that's a bit of, a little bit of video titling on a green screen that just positions it on top of you. Um, and then feasibly it would be possible then, for example, for it to appear that I was driving forwards and shattering that into pieces or whatever you could we could certainly do that yeah yeah so i could i could zoom you forward in, in that shot so i would um... so i'm just I'm, I'm asking these questions really so that i can kind of get a sense of like of the possibilities and really get it clear in my head yeah, but yeah i suppose because the shattering would just be a video of the text shattering yeah so it, it would just be, a... be zooming me forwards and then triggering the shattering text layer exactly it would be a bit what, it would, what how we do that is we'd have to set up an, another another scene of you so there's a little function called merge which is quite useful so I, I can even do that for you right now i could make you bigger so let me just show you how that would look i'll even do that right now and then we can do it and then show you an, as an example so i just got to create another another one and another scene and copy that um and um, let's just have a look from scene two. Um, I'm going to copy all the, all the layers across to a new scene. But then I'm going to make you bigger. Um, like that. So if I just... Um, so if I was to merge this, let's see what the merge setting is, 5,000. It's a bit fast maybe, but merging is a way that it transitions from one scene to the other and it takes the elements and just um, transforms them to, the, to what they are. So if I show you this, look, this is a merge. So this basically, this would, we'd obviously have a different video running there and then it would yeah. smash, then it could smash at the end, but I haven't got that other bit of video. So if we go back to that, that's the scene we've just, we've just had. Imagine the words, you're just not trying hard enough, stay still. And then as you came towards them, they could then, they could then shatter or break, you know, some, some, some form in some way that, that that looks. So yeah, so that in, in, in answer to your question, that's how we would do that. Um, some other little, little scenes I have tried for you, just taking other elements of your images and your videos. I did a little brave thing and I, I added a little bit of a little bit of glitch on there as well. I think you had a bit of glitch appearing in in the um in in the photographs you sent me. So that shows you it could again um similarly to the to the the word shattering in this instance there, they're glitching out in some way. There's no sound, of course, on this. Um other things I've just taken as an example. So this is just just a, just using something like that. So that's a title you had in your piece. It could also be um, it could be a video on the background. So it could actually be a bit of video, just as an example. But similarly, with this one, um, I've taken your video the um, paragliding video um, and put it in the same position 
it could be it could be equally a different position. So I, I've taken that video of slight. That's actually just slightly slowed down that one, but um, it does um, loop. Yeah, I want to get that refilmed at some point. Okay, okay. So I've, I've also done it. There's also done this as well. I can um, change that to to obviously change your scale. It could be like that. You know, you can do anything you like with it. Really, you can put it put it in any way you want it. Um, which kind of then leads me to the your question about your panel your panel members. Now I've used the panel. I've just taken stills, but these could be, of course, live videos coming in of participants. Um, so they could be in a conversation like that. Um, again, they're just like I say, all these elements, these people could be on on green screen backgrounds on on their in their sort of uh, video inputs. I've put a kind of banal kind of office background on some on these as well. Um, again, that's the same sort of thing with that. So they could be, they could be, uh, uh, in any way, in any place you want them. I've just sort of put them in there, uh, to, as a kind of three dimensional element. They can of course also appear as a complete panel across the back of the, the set, or they could just go to half, half the screen or something like that, you know, entirely up to you, how you want to play with it. One um, of the things you said that I thought was really interesting and was one of the things that I'm still kind of trying to get my head around a bit in terms of the technology mm -hmm. is the idea that of how this would integrate with Zoom yeah. and thus the idea that the panel members, that the actors who are panel members mm -hmm. might be in the same Zoom room as the audience. Yeah, yeah. Because exactly. I quite like the idea that the audience suddenly discover that some of their own aren't theirs. Yeah, yeah. The the only thing is they they would have to put themselves on. I mean, in the Zoom meeting, in the Zoom. So what they would do is they would join Zoom like anybody else, and from the Zoom meeting, I can take out and and with the new function and with with a Zoom account, I can I can take out their particular take a feed from zoom of their particular video window of themselves um that i can then bring into vmix like like just like a regular um full screen video feed so i can i then have that in my kind of palette of uh, opportunities of, of things i can place within the scene so so the people on zoom would be watching it and they'd, they'd see the usual zoom interface which is the kind of pinned or shared screen in zoom the main screen everyone's watching and then you get your kind of little view of your part of the people on the side or above i think there's a few select people in there with their cameras on it shows that sort of thing and they would they would appear listed in those participants as well so they would the audience would see them as people in the zoom call but then they would also see them appearing in the performance here so they would see the same but what they would see in zoom is they would see the characters, the panel members, on um, green green screen backgrounds, Pro probably on virtual green screen backgrounds, which works very well in Zoom. Um, but that would be the only giveaway that they are potentially going to be in the performance. But nevertheless, they would see them live. They would think, well, they're there. Unless, of course, we didn't want to have them on a virtual background. They could just be on, on their own backgrounds brought in. And that way, they, they, they really would look like they completely are um disguised as uh people in the in, in the actual zoom audience i really want to do that yeah because i think it does something really fascinating with the audience complicity yeah yeah i agree i agree that the audience suddenly feel like almost how did those people get chosen yeah what yeah, yeah it suddenly puts the audience in the position of being the panel yes exactly or or they might even think could i be called up to speak you know <laughs> it suddenly gives them yeah, a sense exactly. of like, like oh i didn't know that anybody in the audience could suddenly appear on this and then we, like i say we don't have to have this background i've given them and we don't have to put them on green screen backgrounds they can be on their own backgrounds as well which you might which might be more in keeping that so that's entirely up to you um 
So that was the only only sort of suggestion here, but they don't have to be. I've done a few other little bits and pieces for you, Jamie. That that they so they um yes yeah, so to just to just to reiterate, it doesn't matter. I can once they're in a from the Zoom call, they can be placed in any format. Like I, I can skew them, um, I can move them around, uh, I can treat that that video image in any way we want. We we could just put them um, completely on 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 top. You know, uh, let me just just find for example. I could have a could be a panel member. Um, uh, 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 uh. For example, they could just be layered directly on top of the screen um, when they're speaking as well. So entirely, you know, you just take that's it. something we could play with. I think possibly also with storyboarding the piece. And yes, yes. I'm guessing with all of this that you can kind of. You build the show in a whole load of templates exactly so you make all of these decisions in advance and you know what you're doing exactly. and then actually op operating the show on vmix exactly. is a case of moving from one template to the next yeah i and i use and this might be useful for you it might be, make life easier i'm not sure i don't know how much you you want to control things with a mouse but i use a i use um a device called a stream deck as well which means like it's a serious it's a little series of buttons i can assign any scene to those buttons i just pre press a button and it will just go to that scene um i don't know how if that may that it's quite potentially comfortable to use as a kind of sort of hand operated little device that, that takes you to all the different separate scenes i can show you that picture of that let me just show you um and i think you can also get it as an app can't you i think you can actually but it's not they're not very um let me show you that's mine here i'm not using it today but um i, I do use it it's a little device the only thing i can there. see is myself oh i'm so sorry so sorry <laughs> there we go let me cut there. there we go there we go oh no not to that one that one yeah that's the stream deck so that's a little yeah. device it's about that's, that's my hands it's about so big um it can it can move around it can sit near your hand that you could control the scenes you could move from different scenes as you wanted to if that's useful though i suppose there'd be a lot more scenes than that realistically that, well you can you can go to different pages as well so you can you can actually move it to different pages you can have as many pages as you want and then you go back again. oh and each of those buttons is a little tiny screen is it is a, is a could be a screen exactly so each button so like you can put what you want on each button exactly exactly so that's just, quite cool you can then move forward and go to the next page and you can have you know multiple pages of images so and actually you could get a smaller version with just i think just even just that many that many buttons so the whole whole device is smaller so maybe that's more convenient but it does allow you then still to page through them as well but i won't press any of those now because they're, those are set up for scripts actually you can script a lot of these so you could press one and it would do a whole series of um scripted elements so it could play different different um uh, animation scenes in, in 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 the order you wanted them and at the time you wanted them as well so you can time it all and script it to exact to to do exactly what button should come up when so i'll go back to this for now there we are put this my camera back up there um i'm not using that today but i have i do use it in productions quite often so the another little thing i've done for you just to sort of give you a little sense of um I made you a, a so this also is layers here. So again, imagine that this is you, but the layers here would be I can take off the wings, for example, I can remove the wings and put them back on again, um, and so on and so on. So you just appear on the wings. But I've also just to give you a sense of animation possibilities. I've also animated that just one of them, so you can see it. There's a bit of sound in this, and this is an animation on a green screen of the wings. So we can do elements like that. So you can actually bring in animated backgrounds as well of stage props you might use. Which is a lot easier than me controlling those wings. I think in the film in the end, we had somebody crouched behind me doing it. Really? That wasn't strong enough. Yeah, yeah. So anything like that we can could animate and add to you.
And if you wanted bits in front of you, not just behind you, part of that, we could do a separate video and put that on front and, and align it at the same time. So it would look like there's something connected in front of you, behind you, behind you, and so on. Um, I also put it on put it on this shot as well. So if, it, if you were in this particular shot, it would do the same thing. That works a bit better because actually the white blanket over your your the arms of your chair just cut out the wings nicely that they don't get obscured. They're not, um... I think one of the things that I'm kind of working through at the moment is pause. about how much of my body we want to bring in live. Yeah. And how much of my body we want to bring in as a layer. Yeah. And the reason I'm grappling with that is that one of the key advantages I can see of developing this is the idea that, let's say I'm meant to be putting the show on at the roundhouse and I'm not well enough to perform, mm -hmm. that with a green screen at home for let's say my head and neck we could theoretically then put me onto my body and it could look like i was performing it yeah. but actually i yeah. might be i might even be like the idea that i could perform it say lying in a hospital bed sure let me show you exactly what exactly that because that's what I did did also do for you. But I can, but the, the, there's obviously it's a little bit not quite aligned right at the moment, and um, it would need a bit of work just to align things and, and clothing that you might want to wear on on part of you to match different things is is also crucial. But the, this is just an example, not very well lined up, but. Um, Yeah, we'd have to work out how to do things like clothing if we were doing that. Mm. But it would be possible, for example, for the first half for me to be wearing... Yeah, it'd be possible for me to be wearing the same costume on my top half. Yeah, yeah. As in the in the actual show, for example. Mm. But just the... Because I think one of the interesting things about this is an access technology is that it allows you to do live performance whether or not you can be there yeah yeah exactly exactly so that could be a way of um um i mean if it was in a live performance then 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 you'd you'd need to have a projection of this in in the in the in the space as well I mean, the the other actors could um, potentially um, interact with you on stage and you remotely. I mean, that there, there needs to be on green screen backgrounds. But I mean, essentially, the, you could do this if you if if for some reason you couldn't present present the work uh, physically in the theatre. You could you could do much the same production on online with everybody live. That's that that's that's the kind of opportunity i think i just turned that sound down you still hear me yeah okay okay so that's one option i did it did it also a little bit like this as well this is also another option again you're not quite in the right position for it but The other thing I wanted to mention, we'll come to, to, well, we'll look at BSL and other performers. So the one thing we could do, imagine that you are, if you are, um, so you're, all, you're online, just like we've seen. If you had, you could have your other performers who could, um, potentially have a green screen set up in their 
homes or studios and they could call in and I could bring them in in a similar way to the way I brought you in. So they could then be composited on top of you. So this character here the, the, in, the, in the pink outfit, they could um, act live with you as, as could the, uh, the BSL performer. They could also be on a green screen background brought in to perform live. We could do, and we could also do things where we could have a close up shot. They could, using green screen, we could just, and I've just, just taken two elements of a picture here together, but we could essentially, they could then interact with you in a sense of like giving you an injection or just talking to you or in some ways, you know, how, how, they, how they do in the performance. They could, but they could, by having a, a green screen in their own home, set up with a camera in front of them with a kind of whether it's full body or or close up but they could they could be in the piece act, acting with you that, that could be a a, a bsl uh, performer um a, a um, healthcare performer a, a nurse or doctor um and they could actually be then responding to you um so that then we could then have then they could then merge out i guess we could merge we could we could zoom in and out of the characters so that character there folks that didn't have their legs <laughs> but i cut them because cut the top the top part out but that's just an overlay you see that and they would be on green screen and they, they could just be they could be behind you in in the layering so they then appear to be they can then give it put in give an injection and that character also but like i say we can merge in and out and zoom in to that particular scene that's happening. Um, one of the other things I did, just one of the final final things I did. Again, this is also using bits of apparatus uh, and parts of your performance. I've cut out and just placed into the into the shot. So there is this, there is a sense that. That we could play around with things like that as well. Now they they could be live. Uh, they could be recorded live on. They could, they could be in a, in a in a in a stage set, but they would always be behind you if they're in a if they if they don't if they're not on a green screen background. They'd have to be behind you. It would have to be the actual the environment that we use for your entire background. Um, in a, in a live performance setting. Does that make sense? Have I explained that clearly enough? Sorry, I've just... Yeah, there you have. So they would be... So, because you were asking about this as an option for presenting a performance if you couldn't, couldn't be there. Um, but the audience essentially would have to watch it on a screen to fully see you present. It's not something we, could, we couldn't do it. Um, uh, it's a kind of, kind of separate thing. It's a little. It's really the, the experience is on screen. Um, is where the anywhere that we, anywhere that we put the show on, has mm. projection capabilities. Because it needs to, because mm. the show involves projection. So my feeling is that we would just be able to, um, to project that, like project that that if we went if we suddenly went virtual yeah or we had something like dl there in person doing the bsl performance mm -hmm. and me projected then mm -hmm. dl would be in front of the screen and then the screen would be showing what vmix showed and a zoom audience basically yes it, it could it, it that's what the projection would show the projection would show the zoom would show, would show the zoom the zoom call or the the, the, out, the yeah. output from vmix yeah on zoom or just from from vmix entirely up to you um if you wanted to have the zoom zoom audience as well but you could have that either as a projection on the side or you know so on two sides and then in your center you've got the act the live action interaction with you um 
that they are then key that they then see themselves then in the screen as well so there's this, this live performance happening in front of people but there's also it happening online live simultaneously you could do it you could do that um yeah i could certainly draw up yeah it would take a few sort of sort of images to draw that up the only, the only difficulty you might have is playing obviously you want to illuminate one thing and not the other <laughs> if it's a projection so you don't want to you don't want to but you can do that if you if you restrict you know position your lighting just on the stage set and the screens are separately um are not not lit they should be fine for back projection or something it's a possibility um okay well what was i going to show you next I think that's all of the scenes, Jamie. That's all. That, those are the scenes I've prepared for you to look at. Um, we can go back to that one. Have another look at this one for a moment, and just put you in there. I'm just going to down. Turn that sound off for a minute. Yeah. So um, that's kind of like where where we are up to. I mean, in terms of the the, the kind of opportunities of the residency it might be most beneficial to think about this the, the 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 sessions and the outcome as something that is purely purely online and the kind of the, the opportunity to use this as a tool to present your work in a theater simultaneously is something maybe for further further development or for or something outside of this um, I'm wondering if it might be best just to work purely with the idea of this being on Zoom for the, for the, in this sense, and then look at how we can then take that into the kind of theatre space um, until a later stage. Would, would, is that, would that be okay? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. Okay, okay. So I don't, it would just be a little bit easier for me to manage just to thinking what, what can we do in this, this particular, um, for this particular uh, uh, activity, this residency itself. So... Do you want me to go back to the meeting um, view? I don't know if you yeah, go for it. For a moment, just for a moment. But if we go back to there, we can all see each other then. Um, so it, it's really about how we want to try and script it, I guess, or storyboard it, as you mentioned. Whether you want to do the full, I know the performance itself is about 40 to 50 minutes long. Um, do you want to do the entire performance? Is there is there normally we've worked for about we aim at doing about twenty minutes what we're doing. We can certainly do the entire performance if you if we wanted to. Um, so, and then it's about how we how we bring in the other other participants. So there's the scenes and the environments and all the sorts of the sorts of cinegraphic stuff you were talking about the breaking of the words and things moving forward all those sorts of things need kind of storyboarding and, and and directing so we can then create those bits with you um and also then getting the performers in in place and online for the diff different sections they that they would provide and do and then, of course it will take a bit of practicing <laughs> they'll have to get they'll have to sort of practice and rehearse it quite a bit because it, it's not so it's not straight that straightforward it can be a little bit of a learning curve trying to perform yeah with an, with an invisible person really essentially so that's where really where the sessions come in useful and i think <sighs> what strikes me is bringing dl in makes things a lot more complex yeah okay and that if we build a good 20 minutes with this, mm. it would be reasonably easy to add them. Yeah. I think later. Okay. So I wonder then about taking two segments of the show, mm. one of which is around my own performance possibly part of the first act mm. um and one of which is around 
some of the scenes that have the whole panel involved mm. and how we might capture that and work on getting those two bits right because I think if we did that we would then be in quite a strong position generally okay that makes sense one of the things I think you're right about if we bring in DL afterwards what we could also do and I know that you it's all about timing <laughs> it's too tricky but we could add we have got a little bit of extra budget for the BSL translation, so I could um, potentially, if there's a you know if there's a other additional cost around DL's contribution, perhaps we could bring in DL as as a pre-recorded element. So we get the twenty minutes, present it live, but then add D add DL in as 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 a pre-recorded element, but it is about timing, of course. That's where it becomes. I don't know whether that's a problem. I'm gonna say that it took for DL and I to get 90 seconds of the show perfect. Took two and a half days. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because we had to rewrite the scripts in English and in BSL. Yeah. In order for it all to land at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you, uh, I mean, potentially, could it be control if, if we had, if we had it as pre-recorded, what, what, what causes the difficulty is the, is the timing, is it the timing of what's said or is it actually what's said? The two languages have a different grammatical structure. Mm. So timing the BSL and the English together is incredibly difficult. Timing with footage, again, is a very complicated project. Mm. And we, we know this because of the work Deanne and I did on it last September. Mm. Um, that actually to do that well, Maybe the answer is that we do three little bits, three bits. We do a segment for the beginning of the show. Mm. We do a segment that involves the panel and how we're playing with that. Mm. And then we do the segment that DL and I worked out during the residency, the kind of 90 second segment that we've written, rehearsed, translated and timed. And that we bring that in as a pre-record. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we show how that can be done, but with a segment where we don't have to do all of the translation work first. Yeah. Okay, so there's a bit you've already, some, there's some, what you're saying is there's already some material you've already got we could work with in that last part. I mean, we would, we would still want to, we'd still need to record it, mm. but it's material where the timing has been worked out okay. and the translation has been worked out so that the line is the same length in BSL and spoken English I got and you. we're not constantly waiting for each other. So you've written the script very much in, 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 in regard or in respect to the BSL, the way, the, the way that grammatical structure flows. For that tiny section. I see. Yeah, yeah. Not the whole show. No, sure. It was a kind of proof of concept of what we could do. Yeah. given the time where we took the English script and we took the BSL script right back to basics. And then we said, you know, where do we want to be saying the same word at the same time? Mm -hmm. And if we're saying these words simultaneously at these points, how do we rewrite everything else to fit? Gotcha. Okay. Do you think it will so be think... possible? Sorry, Jamie, do you think it'd be possible to film DL again, do that on, on a green screen background? Yeah. It would be. We've got DL filmed on a green screen background for that. Oh, have you? You've already we, could got it. we could refilm it if it's not high enough quality, but we've got it. Have you? Yeah. Chris, would you be able to look out those files and send them to Paul? Do we send those over now? You could do, Chris. Yeah, you could email me. Are they, are they, are they 
Do you need to? Are they too big to email? Maybe you do need to we transfer They're them. They're on to Google Drive. We could just give you a Google Drive link. Yeah. If you email it to me, you got my you got my you know email address, haven't you, Chris? Yeah, I do. I'll send that over now. Great. And I'll have a little look. So that'd be good. I think I think it would be helpful just to try. And if you've already worked on this and done some research around it, it'd be great to try and incorporate that in, into this. And as you say, that that last part of it. So I rather like this taking these three sections um, approach would, would would be really really helpful. But I'll look out for, for the uh, just open my email. Sorry, two seconds. No problem at all. That's all right. Always dangerous opening my email. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um... I mean, it would be good to, to we could also talk about what i could try and play around with between now and thursday as well because that, that's if that's any help to you so you could maybe come back come, come back on thursday and look at some other 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 things that we've we've thought about so do... um i'm just looking at the moment for the trying to make sure that i've got the right version of the script okay um found the one that I sent you previously so I've sent you um, a green screen version of DL performing and also a green screen version of Jamie performing okay there's, yeah you sent me two two links have you Chris I've got two there yeah there's one of DL the B doing the BSL part and there's one of Jamie doing the uh, English Great. part okay So one proposal is actually if we took the script up to the end of D92, which is on page 17. I'll just download these first. It won't be a moment. So these two videos, Chris, that you sent me, that when they're they're simultaneous, they when they're sort of lined up together with Jamie and DL, the translation then is is sort of spot on. Is it? Is that the idea? Yeah. Okay. Got you. Okay. Okay. That that's really helpful. That's really really helpful. That gives me something to work with. Actually, looking at this, if we went to the end of page 21 in the script I previously sent you, Paul. Yeah, I'm just like um, now. Yep. Which is line D112. That takes us about halfway through the show, but that's the section that I worked on with DL. So we would then essentially have half a show. Sorry, Jamie, what page was it? I just took me, took me a while to open it. It's a page on... I think 21. 21. Okay. I've got starting with just dare them to take them away. Yeah. And then D109. So if we went to the... Yeah. 
yeah so if we went to the end of that page because yeah. the bit that dl and i have is pages 20 and 21 okay um then the section before that page 18 you get something that's very interactive between me and the pa mm. um the bit before that you get some panel um before that you get the kind of neon energy that comes with like the section that you did quite a lot of the images of you know brave inspirational mm. mm. etc mm -hmm. um before that you get the conversation between me and the doctor and you get panel coming in so you could either do page 10 to um top of page 10 yep. to the bottom of page 21 mm -hmm. or you could do beginning to the bottom of page 21 oh from the very from the very beginning yeah which would be about about it's about halfway isn't it yeah so the first half really so the or end. we could start by trying to do pages 10 to 21 yeah and then if we had more more time we could bring more in yeah but we could start with a core of um a core of um act to panel mm. through to um d112 d112 oh yeah okay And that's that gives us a small segment to really work with and then if we want to do a bit more we could bring in some more from the first act mm. but i think that then includes quite a lot of different things that we're trying to play with mm -hmm. so in terms of the like the learning for us in how to do it mm. um might be might be quite valuable mm. are, th are there any in that in that section in say from page 10 to 21 or 1 to 21 what kind of i mean I, I, for example the wings here i don't think the wings would appear appear till later anyway are there any new elements you would want to introduce or would you want to bring elements in like the wings in in earlier if the, if is if, if there's no need if it doesn't work then of course i don't you know they're not but are there are there other sorts of animations and things you might want to try and explore do you think i mean still what's saying sort certainly of sorry certainly if we went a bit earlier mm. maybe if we if we aim to go from page seven to start with rather than page 10 mm. um but then i think there's a lot of i think maybe i think it's a case of if we start storyboarding 10 to 21 hmm. and then you think ah oh, hang on there's a technique here like there's a very useful technique that we're not using in any of this so far hmm. then we could look at how to bring that in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay for example, and I think also 10 to, 10 to 21, there's like, yeah, there, there is, there is definitely space for animation in that. Um, yeah. Okay. And if we did, if instead we did 7 to 21, mm. then there would be space for the wings. So maybe we should just do that and do 7 to 21. Yeah. Um. I'll, I'll create a version now that is just pages 7 to 21. Okay. 
and I could then look at for me to get some idea to prepare all the right bits for that. I could simply follow the video, the video as well, couldn't I? But it, uh, just to sort of put some things together for you, um, I'm jumping ahead there. Um, but I think obviously it's the storyboard that's going to direct it and, and the sorts of things we want to want to look at. Just wondering what I could try and what what I could try and do between now and if we just have a quick look at this one again, what what I can do between now and Thursday. If there's anything you'd like, like me to play around with, explore for you, uh, that you could then start to get a more feel, a feel, a better feel for on Thursday. Yeah, I've just ah uh, because of the way that my brain works, I will find this a lot easier once I've um, once I've deleted the pages that I don't need from this version. Okay, that's fine. So I'm just going to quickly do that so that... We don't need to do it right now, Jamie. It's not a problem at all. Oh, I just mean that it will, that for the next step, the next stages of discussion, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I okay. will be a lot more... It won't take me very long to do. Um, okay. And then I can also email one over so that we're all working on one with the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if that's now correct. One more page, I think. Right. Jamie, do you think it would be possible to add into the script any kind of stage stage scenography direction as well? So I get a yeah. bit of a better idea as to what might be happening. You know, when when does just when do you want a lighting change or when do you want a kind of smoke to, to appear or even the sound? I mean, you have got a bit of sound um, content on here already. But but it would it's the sort of scenography information that would be really helpful, which is the sort of start Absolutely. of your, story, your storyboard, really. Yeah, I think for me it had been quite hard to work out how that might even how that might even look until yeah, I'd yeah. started to see what you were doing with yeah, yeah. Um, with this. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think now. It's a lot easier to work out, mm. work some of that out. And I mean, maybe is that something that we could look at possibly even now and be a bit like, so that I can get more of a sense yeah. of what it is. Yeah, yeah. Because I think for me, one of the big things that I'm trying to learn mm. with this is the process beginning to end mm. of having a piece written to be performed in a physical theatre as a play mm. in quite a traditional way and what I have to do to that to create something mm. Mm -hmm. so I think if we talk if we're able to talk through some of the creative possibilities as we go. Yeah, sure. Then that's going to put me in a stronger position yeah. for understanding how the process works. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've sent you both through a file that just contains the pages that we're talking about. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and I'm just deleting some of the unnecessary stage directions that don't give that don't give us anything anymore because they're for theatre and I think it's also about thinking about what it is that we're trying to I guess showcase in each section because it's not just about what makes a good show 
but mm -hmm. about what techniques we're trying to bring in and why. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, so the um, what we've got then is the section called I Should Sleep, mm -hmm. which runs on the first two pages of this document. And then there's basically a blank page. We've got a tiny excerpt of panel. We've got my conversation with the doctor. Mm. We've got a tiny excerpt of panel. We've got the bravery section. We've got another excerpt of panel. We've got the section called paralysis panel again, and then the bit that's DL and die. Okay. So I guess the last bit, which is discretion, which is the section that's DL and die. Mm -hmm. Um, So this section seems to be about capturing what well, capturing kind of DL and I working together and the simultaneity of it. And I think that's kind of that's why we've got this in here, isn't it, really? Mm -hmm. Um gosh, I'm so bad with Acrobat still. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, would it be helpful if I could start just, just I, I can just play around with some of these scenes and you can just see what, see what I'm doing with them and it might just trigger off some ideas for you. Yeah, that's um, what I was kind of thinking was that if yeah. we're sort of playing with it all a bit, then that will yeah, help. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Like we did when I just showed you zooming in and out of yourself, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so, for example, I'm just trying to think of this. These, these are all the scenes we'd have in it from pages 7 to 21. But, uh, well, it's inspirational is, of course. So that is a scene that it would be in, it would be in there. Um, I mean, that, just to give you a little bit, let me just play around with that a little bit more. Um, uh, two ways of working with this one of course is is to do anything we can with photoshop and um or or take it into premiere or after effects so we can do anything we want with that and i can save those those bits of video out into um onto green screens but what i can do with this in in vmix I have, um, my effects are a bit limited, but I have, a, the only effect I can, one of the effects I can do, I can only really do here, is I can blur things. So I should be able to blur, is that blurring? Uh, oh, why isn't that blurring? Sorry, let me try that again. <laughs> um, At the moment, we can just see the fixed oh, inspirational. Yeah, yeah. I think I was trying to blur the wrong thing. So I'd have to blur it as a, um, let me just try and try this out here. So yeah, I can do, um, yeah, I can sort of blur things out. So they could appear as a kind of blur, um, in coming some, something coming in like that. So that could then, yeah, as I say, it could blur, it could, you could bring it in as a blur effect. Um, what I can do to the um, the word itself is a little bit like I could do with all, with all the the um, the different um, layers. Really, is I can move things around and you know pan them, bring them in, change change their 
their um, their rotation, that sort of thing. I can do that with all all the different things. So things can move around. We could do that with um. So it could move around. Yeah. And that would that, that could be just be two. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was thinking about the end like the entrance into that scene and the text mm. and the idea of like shattering text. And I was wondering about the way that you might go through a pane of glass and mm. the idea of coming on and smashing the word brave. Mm -hmm. I've lost your video. Actually, so it is. <laughs> ah, sorry, I turned it off briefly. That's quite all right. Don't worry. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, okay. The idea of kind of smashing through that for such mm. a like for such a like physical, visceral shattering of the energy. Mm. Um. We can try something out with. I mean, there were, the only way I would be able to do the, the, the sort of the, the sort of breaking up of the actual videos itself would have to be done in in a kind of in something either in in uh, Premiere in After Effects or something like that. So I can yeah. play around with that, and I don't I don't know if whether you have other, you know, if there's other other, other people who could do that sort of thing. I'm happy to try it, try it out for you. Um, but but uh, yeah, but that's. Those sorts of things would have to would have to we do all of that as I say in in a kind of um, uh, After Effects. Technique. Yeah, After Effects. There seem to be a, a like a whole bunch of like tutorials and things for mm -hmm. how to make text mm -hmm. shatter in After Effects or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, let me just so. So we can make that bigger. And can the lighting become increasingly like closed and tense and tight, or is that? We can do. I can. What I can do with that. Um, let me just reset that one. So to change that set from from what is essentially the kind of the blue and red, sort of purple blues, to a different to a different color scheme, or to make it darker. I mean, we can, we can, I can do different effects with, uh, on the background. Let me have a little look. Again, I could do things in Photoshop. I can do things in here. Let me show you what I can do in, um, in here specifically. Uh, let me find, might try and find the right file. Um, where is the background? I can't find it. Ah, there we are. I know I can it was hiding down there. So what we've got now, so that's that's our basic background, but I think what I can do with that, I mean I've got some colour adjusting things we can play around with. So I can take it I could yeah. Um, I 
you know, it, I just I'm just changing the different values in 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 here. Um, but it might be easier just to work in photo to bring to, to to do that in Photoshop to create different things. Um, and a lot of this could also theoretically be done in a program less powerful than Photoshop. Um, it could be, yes. Yeah. What were you, what were you thinking? Is there a particular program? That quite was? often, quite often we use Canva for more basic stuff. Yeah. Okay. And you could export layers as PNG with transparency. Yeah. 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 Okay, um, and then for some of the fixed layers, that might be. Um, so, because I think another point where we could do some interesting things is the conversation with the doctor, which is on the um, fifth page of this document, starts S7. would there theoretically be a way of me appearing so you know how you at one point had the two zoom windows uh, at kind of diagonals to each other like that yeah yeah would it be theoretically possible for me to be both in my chair and in one of those zoom windows oh yes yeah yeah that's possible so I can put you, let me just do that. Um, and would I be able to have a weird zoomy background in the zoom one? I could, yes. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let me just take out the other one. This one. Because I think that scene between, and it could be the same feed that's live on stage in the chair and in the Zoom, if that makes sense. Yeah, so let me just bring in... Um... Um, I'll bring that one in there, yes. Um, just trying to bring you in here one second. Aha, uh -huh, I think I know why that is. It's a bit weird. Why aren't you in there? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, I wonder if. Oh, sorry. That's why you're not in there. Didn't have you clicked on. Um, so let me just 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 put you in. So basically, we'd have to put you, we would put you up here. Yeah, basically. Like So then, you, then we could put any background on there as well, Jamie, if you wanted a different background on your, on your particular, um, panel background i'm not sure what, what we could put up what i've got on there but i've got any image could go on the back of there doesn't have have to be um 
the stage set. It doesn't have to be that. It could be another, yeah, another one like that or something or other. Because I'm interested in the fact that, like, one of the things that makes the panel with the scenes with the panel significant mm. is that I'm not in their Zoom. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas I am in the Zoom with the doctor. Mm. So I was just thinking, like, by doing this, we double me mm. so that the audience both sees me talking to them, but also sees the collaborativeness. Mm -hmm. So it's, they, they, so you'll be, yeah, so you're addressing the audience and, yeah. and, and then you'd be sort of a talk, talk, sort of, but also talking with, with the other person in Zoom, as so it's a Zoom meeting as well. Okay. Got you. Yeah. We can have as many of you. I can, I can duplicate you. I can change the color. I can even change the color of you or something. I, I could make you different. I can, I can actually make you a virtual input. So I can do diff different effects to you as well. I could um, have a second, second version of you, if you, if you see what I mean. So each input, I can have another. Um, let me just show you what that means. Create virtual input. Okay. So if I, yeah, so here, let me show you something because just so you know, I can have as many virtual inputs as you as you, as you like, really. Um, uh, layers like that, and then I go to changing you. So I could then make color correction. So yeah. Might be, this might be the wrong, wrong way around now, but um, yeah, so I can actually make you, I could make you black and white in one picture. You know what I mean? I can change it, change your color saturation. Yeah. Also that your... I've got like the theater lighting colors on yeah. my on stage face and a slightly like dull corporate sheen. Yeah, to the Zoom or it. whatever. Yeah, it might be best best to work with the Zoom one. Yeah, you know, I mean, we can of course light you physically light you in in your space as well if that if that works for you. So so some, in some instances it might might be better because we're not using green green screening, so we can do all sorts of different uh, physical effects with lighting. So you could you could just in a sense have um, a light ring that you can set to different temperatures or different colors or something in front of you and that that would all show but, all have an effect but it would then appear on both versions of my face no because i could duplicate one and keep one make one uh well, yeah it would do but i i could then alter one of them i could i could desaturate it or something like that or take out yeah so or you could but yeah when i had a Sorry. Yeah, we could either bring in the light digitally onto one or remove the light digitally from the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. We could maybe it might be easy to say, it might be easy to add it, add it, you know. But I can give make make you more darker. We're losing the chroma key now. Um, I can make you translucent, you know. So you're fifty percent or something like that. Because the other thing is, in theory, with this bit, we, um, are, I've got, would you mind, Dribbly, if I took this call in case it's the hospital? Of course, Jamie, go ahead. I'll just be one let's, sec. Let's, no, let's have, let's have a quick five minute. That's fine.
Sorry about that. Hi, Jamie. Sorry, I was away, away from the camera for a minute. Um, let me just bring back on our, our group view for a moment. Okay. Everything all right? You okay? Yeah, every, Yeah. all good. Okay. Okay, so we were just looking at that shot um, there and talking about what we can do with um, changing. We can... Obviously, yeah. Like, like I say, we can change change the colours and that sort of thing of, of you. So, so it gives you a different kind of feel on that um, that Zoom call. Um, so that is possible. We could bring you into that. Uh, where would you like? What would you like to look at next? Are there any particular scenes scenes you'd like to? Look at? questions you have for me <laughs> I can try and play around with um so we've got that idea of like doubling the doctor and die mm -hmm. we've got so I guess the paralysis section yeah um is That's one that's going to involve quite a lot of physical interaction is that at the end? Is that the, yes, the paralysis one. This is with this is where the um, BSL is also happening, isn't it? BSL is happening after that. Okay. So that's a, the BSL is the section after. Oh, that's right. From twenty, from page twenty to twenty-one. Apologies. Yeah, yeah. That's that's discretion, isn't it? That's right. Okay. Got you. Got you. So paralysis from page eighteen. Um, yep. Yeah. And that is where you would have other people come on, is that, that that's where there's a, other, um... Yeah, in theory, that's one of the bits where there would be that interaction. Okay. So that's the sort of, these sorts of scenes, like, like this, what we had earlier on here. Or, or this, I don't know if they are those ones, but yeah, it's that one actually. This is where I showed you of us zooming in and zooming out on different things that could happen. So you could zoom into action and zoom out, zoom out from things as well. Um, I mean, they could, the, the other performers could have, as I said earlier on, they could be on green screen backgrounds. They could be, and they could have screens positioned to their left and right. So they could look, they, they can give a profile shot. So they could be looking at you and that sort of thing. Yeah, but that and that would work. allow me to also. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, it'd allow me to also be in profile or whatever. Now, yep. in the in the actual show, there'd be the idea that they lifted and moved my limbs, but obviously, that isn't possible unless they're in the same place as me. Yeah, yeah. So they could only they could only lift you if yeah if if they if they're actually there. Otherwise, it's a kind of I mean I don't know how possible that is for you, but it's a kind of it, it would be you sort of miming miming that or doing that in time with them. So it looks like they're lifting your arm. I think it I would. Um... I think it, if we could get them in the same place as me, we'd be able to get something that worked a lot better. Uh, do you mean in the physical place or? Yeah. Okay. Would VMix, would it, would it work to bring two people in against a green screen background? Uh, um, 
sorry, how how do you mean, Jamie? Try and try and explain to me again. So, so if the person, so like it how it looks now, mm. except that Sophie and I are actually in front of the same camera together. Mm. I mean, we. But is that feasible? It, it's it's feasible, absolutely. Where, where is the, it complicated? No, no. I mean, it's only complicated in terms terms of the, terms of that the actor would have to go go to your location. I mean, literally, that you're both performing in front of the same camera. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's so, kind of. Well, I mean, I, it, in terms of what we the sort of the project, what it wants, to, what it wants to try and explore, it would, would try, it would try to find a com a way of doing that that you that you are remote <laughs> in a sense because that's the sort of the emphasis of the idea that that everyone is not is not necessarily in the same yeah. space but but I... so uh so for some of the some of the bits though there's a kind of a dual purpose mm. nature to the piece so there's a section for example further on where sophie empties my catheter bag mm during the scene yeah and that's both because it might be necessary mm. and for the performance um similarly i'm on an injected medication that has no flexibility whatsoever in the timings mm. Mm. during the day mm. and also whenever i need it unpredictably yeah and performance is a time when i would be a lot more likely to right so there would usually be a second performer in the same place oh, yeah. okay who was able to almost at any point during the performance that i needed something mm. bring it in so for example a lot of the performance that I now do, mm. I increasingly use what's called mouthpiece ventilation. Mm. Um, so that's like, it's attached to the machine that does my breathing mm. and it's a straw that sits beside my mouth. Right. And when it senses my mouth touching it, it inflates my lungs. So, mm. because I can't inflate them very far, I can't get enough air to get to the end of a long line. So I'm fine with short lines, but if I need more air, then that machine is programmed to give me the air. Mm. But if the straw has fallen away from my mouth in a direction I can't reach, mm -hmm. then I'm then I'm stuck. So the that so for example, Sophie in this scene is both a, a trained actor, but a former member of my care team. I got so you. yeah. It's a kind of a dual purpose. I'm so I'm wondering then perhaps whether we have something where we've got me in place. Mm. We've got one person in place with me. Mm. And we've got one person we're bringing in remotely. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, so Sophie, Sophie's role is is both um you know a, requir a, a, a requirement for you um a necessity uh, i guess um but also yeah. for but also they also have a theatrical role as well so they might be in costume or they might be you know there, there might be different there might be certain things they might do and they might be able to assist with certain things so so in a sense you're working together with with sophie in terms of your isolated location. Yeah, that, that works fine. Yeah. And then, then we can have another, if we, if we have another performer who um, is kind of collaborating with, with, with Sophie uh, in some ways, um, uh, th they could then be remote. So Sophie may be able to inter not only interact with you in terms of administering an injection or or passing you your um your uh, breathing apparatus but also to converse 
with the other with the other performer, the, the other nurse healthcare assistant, um, in the same way that you in the same way that you also will, but they might do other things as well. So they might want to. I don't know, between them, if I look at a scene like, um, let me just go to a scene, I know it doesn't, it doesn't actually appear in this particular, um, in the pages we're looking at, because I think it's much more at the latter stages of the, the script, but in this particular instance, um, it, it could be that you and one of the performers um, are in uh, together, but the other performer is remote and maybe this is a virtual or physical thing. I'm not sure. It could be even a physical thing, I guess. It depends at what stage, how much of you, this is the other, the other issue, of course, is that if you're, if you're, if you are at a restricted view constantly of a head and shoulder shot, which is I think what, what, what we're kind of suggesting, then Sophie would only be uh, visible in shots like that. Which are your head and shoulder shots? Just thinking this, thinking this through now. You see what I'm saying? Unless, unless we had two webcam. No, that wouldn't work. We couldn't have one webcam feed that took me out and had her, and one that took her out and had me. Um. We could. We'd have to have two computers. That's all. It have to be. She'd have to be connected up on a separate, not to the same computer. It'd have to be a separate, separate laptop or computer that um, that is picking up another cam. Yeah, for another camera. We can't send two 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 video feeds on the same call in line. So and a separate call in line would necessitate a separate another another computer for that. But it can be done. So she could. So Sophie could be. Um, in the same space as you, um, in a sense, there might be an area where her camera is positioned on Sophie on a green screen background, and then 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 she could move into your shot, and is actually then with you physically in your shot as well. So a shot like that, and then we could key her in on a shot like shot. Of, shot like that of her full body but it would necessitate quite a we'd need a bit of large need quite a bit of space around you to have a cover full to have a full body green screen for sophie as well in the room that you're in so i guess then trying to so i think with paralysis we're basically currently discussing the feasibility of two pa mm -hmm. figures mm -hmm. one in the same space as me mm. and one in another physical space Yeah, one, one, one in the, the two. Yeah, one, in, one in a remote, remote location. So, so one of them, for example, you know, if it's if it's just, um, so we got one, one of the, one of the. Um, uh, let me have a look at which ones they are. Hang on. So I've got. Uh, so yes, I've got two, two pictures. So this is this is our, this is one. But if you want a full body, she has to be on a green green screen background. Um, yeah so needs to, needs to be like that you see so that would all need to be completely green screen so that would necessitate having a physical phys physical green screen that is about three meters wide by about three meters high and then a bit of flooring area to walk on so we get get their feet on there as well um there's that option um and it's the same for for that one as well if we take out for a moment 
the idea of having somebody there in person mm -hmm. and we just think about the paralysis section and the role of the PA in it mm -hmm. that's one of the more kind of movement heavy choreographed elements mm -hmm. um where they're really kind of moving around me and interacting with my body yeah see they can do that perfectly well though it, uh, rem remotely moving around you oh yeah no i was just thinking that if we take out if we take out the element of the idea of them being there in person mm. and we just think about the kind of the remote element mm. then it then what we'd be showing off in that section and what we'd be playing with is how you choreograph two people's movement yeah 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 exactly so they could be walking around they could be you know if it is like that scene we had earlier on um they could be walking in front of you behind you they could approach you um they could you know, they they could put their hands on you or, or or stand behind you as it were they can do all sorts of things like that so we could just layer them so if i just show you that scene what i've got there so um so i think one of them who have we got we've got um where are you in this you're here i see let me just put you swap you around like that so this particular nurse oh sorry that's not what i wanted to do um, um we take that one we'll, we could walk walk in front of you this one would walk behind you you know it depends, depends on where we where we layer them they could be behind the actual thing we could make them smaller we can actually scale them and um make them smaller put them on the put them on the background so actually they appear to be walking right behind you um if i can get the <laughs> yeah if i can just try and move them um is that gonna work no it always I'm not in the wrong hang on um yeah so they would then we could position them they, they would then have the ability to walk behind you and all the objects as well so we can actually make them scale them and place them wherever we wanted them or, or, or they can then walk within their green screen area um yeah so then they then but they would be looking at screens to their left and to their right to see where they're interacting with you so they have this kind of opportunity yeah. to to monitor their they, they know when to stop so if the camera's looking at them and they haven't got a screen to look at they won't know when to stop where you are they can't place where you are but if there's a screen on either side they then they then would allow them to um uh to 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 uh sorry wait a moment it would allow them to know exactly which way which which where to stop to be in front of you and then when to carry on yeah. to go to go off off stage you know coming in going off where they need to low if they need to crouch down if they needed to touch something on the on an object they then can move around because they can see it in a screen but that's what i'm saying if your performers if your other performers are on full screen uh, full body green screens they have that they have that opportunity to in, to interact with you um and you could then respond i mean you know, if, 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 for example, the nurse is going to give you an injection, you don't want to be, you might want to look down at what she's looking at or what she's doing you, or looking at her. So you'd want to have that ability to look at her and look at, look to a screen. Yeah. So you can see, so you can move, you can position your gaze at her in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the correct way. Um, and equally you might want to, you know, if there's a screen over here, you could turn around or just appear over your, move your head to your to your left and look at the look at the nurse at the, on the other side or something that is if they're on green if they're on full green screen backgrounds but if i say if we want to 
have somebody in the same space as you, we'd need to have double, we'd need to have that and to have them full figure. To do it, to have somebody in the same space with you, with, they've only got that interaction, with that head and shoulder shot of you. Yeah. But you could have one, but then they are only restricted. They can only be in shots, and it might be difficult to position them in a shot like this. Where would they? Where would they then appear in a shot? In a shot like that, because they'd, they'd always be appearing as a very close to your head, because they're they're in your they're in your head and shoulder view. Yeah. No, that's a uh, ah, oh, that's. That's yeah, that's something that I'm kind of sitting with and trying to work out at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um so I'm just thinking about other sections. Sure, yeah. So the section that's discretion, that's the one that has dl and the green screen yeah are you able to bring that in along with my head perhaps yes the, do you want the video the video that chris sent me earlier on yeah let's try we'll try and get that one in. of so the video of dl along with me being here okay let let me just bring it across from the from a different computer um Bear with me. Um, I'm just going to call it DL for the moment. It's just going to load and I shall bring it up in a moment. So let me just find that. Um. Just always takes a bit of time to transfer it from one computer to another and <laughs> put it in the right folder. Find the right folder. Right, bear with me. Almost there. Just copying across. Okay, let's stand. I'll try and bring it in. Okay, I've got DL into the mix. Oh, should I just take the sound off for a moment? Um, I'll put the sound. I got. And sound told off. me that the wheelchair lift was broken, so I had to submit my evidence by video. So what just, I was thinking of doing, yep. yeah, is having the sound off so that we get that shot of DL. Yep. And me performing live. I've got you. I'm just going to try and do some chrome because uh, I can try to do that now. Um, right, I think that's chroma keyed that out. I've got DL there now. So if I now bring in DL into this shot. So imagine you're here. I'll just turn that down for a minute. And I'll bring in um where am I in that one? 
which is seen that we are on that one there. So let's just try and bring in DL into this one. As if they couldn't just wait for it to be repaired. As if this wasn't the entire bloody world. I'll turn the sound off, sorry. Right, the sound is off. So I've got DL there, but I could make them smaller. Um, of course, the only difficulty is I can't make them full screen because um, obviously they're not full screen. They're only only the it's the top half of them that we've got in there. Yeah. So we'd, and we'd need to bring them in so that both their hands were visible. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So they may want to be. They could be there. Yeah. They could be on a screen. I mean, I could do other things. I could do them. I could do, um, I mean, like I did before. Um, we've got all the possibilities of doing. Oh, that's interesting. Why, did, why is it just doing that? Could we create a bottom half for them? Yeah. Yeah, I could. I could, I could put, le I could put, put them on legs so actually what i could do i've got actually got a picture of dl um so what i could do is move that to there no and then i've put... heard enough sorry. sorry it always does that let me just put in another picture they're quite of DL. i quite like the way that they're kind of cutting in front of me in that yeah got the wrong one sorry different person but... yeah <laughs> There we go. There we go. There we go. So what I could do is if I take this one here, um, I could crop that one. Sorry, wrong way. Wrong way. I don't know how feasible this would be, but like, if you took that picture of DL and this picture of DL. Mm. Uh, or rather that picture in this video would it be possible to put the video's head and arms onto that body um or is that one of those things where it's like i mean yes but it would also be very difficult no <laughs> it, it, it's i couldn't do it i'm just trying to think of a way of doing it now I'd, i think it would need to have it need to be done in in um i'd need to do that in in premiere or something i'd need to because i'd need to mat Math out just you know the if you want just the head the area of the head and the arms so i've got dl's arms but then i it's gonna be difficult to get dl's arms when they're in front of the torso like that there right now if yeah you've, if you've, okay if you've matted it let's out, not attempt that then it yeah be quite tricky it's gonna be, be some careful it's probably an after effects uh mapping so it could take a day's a day's work to do all that. Let's let's not attempt it then. <laughs> but let me just put this. So if the legs were there, and then I put um, I could do something like that. It's not very well mapped, lined up. But um, and of course the colours are wrong. But um, uh, yeah, something like that. Of course, we can change that. Change the color. Let's, how, how's that going to work? Let's see how that works. Um, <laughs> it works quite well. I mean, it's only just as a, it's just an experiment, but it does because DL doesn't move very much in this shot. That that is quite convincing. It could be if if the legs were the right if it was the right clothing. You know, if it yeah, maybe could we make trousers. their top the right blue? Um, it'd be easier to make the bottom darker because if I try, if I make that in VMix. Oh yeah, I was just now, thinking in terms of how it how it looks. It'll take in the out... hospital in terms of it looking quite hospital. Right. I'll try, but, but yeah. it, it will make DL's face go just a different color as well. That's the only difficulty. Then so let's I not could... let's not try that. But I, I can certainly do that. I can certainly do that for another for another time. I mean, I could. Try oh yeah, no, I was, I was just meaning in general. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whether it's it possible, could be done. It's possible, possible, absolutely. 
Um, I mean, it might be quite. I'm doing a similar. I'm doing very doing a very similar thing to what I'm doing to you by putting your head on your body. I'm doing the same sort of same sort of thing. So I could increase that bit of video, but I think. Well, I won't want to increase it because DL's hands need to be visible at all times to the very yeah. bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because. The idea then is that I should be able to perform live in sync with DL. Mm. Exactly. So this is the bit where you'd have to try and do this um, in, in, yeah, to know in sync what this is. Yeah. It's like, so then we, if we turned up the volume, you would be at the same place, <laughs> kind of. That's the idea. That's from, this is from the start. Yeah. Okay. I won't. Uh, don't worry, Jamie. I'm not, I wasn't asking you to do it now. <laughs> no, it's right. I know it. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. If I were in charge, the wheelchair lifts would be prominent, signpost them, advertise them, talk about them everywhere. I'd have to, I'd have to catch the timing again. Yeah, no worries. Actually, but, well, that was good. But the idea like, of this. From memory, it sounded very good what you did there. So, I Yeah, think... the idea of it basically is yeah. that this will allow us to show off the concept of having um one like one live performer and one video performer yeah but doing something that feels like they're both live yeah yeah just in terms of sort of if we're thinking about like what are we showing off mm -hmm. in each section mm -hmm. then for me that's what that's showing off right Yeah, I agree. That would be really good. And that seems to be quite easy because we've already got that footage. Exactly, exactly. I can play with that. No problem. The colour, I, I mean, I can play with the colour, as you say. Let me have a little think about the colours because I could probably change those and make those more of a kind of medical, the blue colour. Because I think the only issue with that video is that DL is not in costume as such. Is that Would I be right in saying that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So maybe I can do something with that, with that outfit, uh, with that, with the colours of that, that they blend better into the other, other one. Yeah, basically, just mm. so that it doesn't feel quite so like. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, maybe I can do that. That that, that can be done for sure. I can find a, find a tutorial for it. Um, yeah, good, good. Okay. What do you think? Jamie, what, which ones do you want to look at next? What other ones in this, in terms of your script, are there other other bits you want to look at now? Or do you um, want what's to... the next bit? We said we run. We said we go until about one thirty, but we can. It's entirely up to you. Whenever you want to stop, you tell me if you if you're feeling like you need to have some time to think about this a bit more, or we can carry on. How are you doing, Chris? Are you still here? Um... <laughs> All good. I can see Chris is there. Sorry, I yeah, think... all good. Thanks. Okay, great. I think one of the other things that I just want to think about is um, so ah so the one the section that's the I should sleep, mm -hmm. the very beginning one. I'm yep. really interested in how we can isolate me and create a hospital behind me. Uh-huh, okay. So in a sense, changing, this is in a similar way. So I should sleep. 
is that the scene in your video in your Vimeo on the Vimeo page? You no, you... that's the scene before where I'm in a hospital. Right. Um, and that's just it was filmed in a hospital. Um, to be honest, Chris, if you could mm -hmm. harass me about this next week, I'd really appreciate it. But I should try and get some decent photography and, if possible, some decent recordings while I'm in after surgery. Okay, yeah, I, I'll put a limit on how much I'll harass you when you're having surgery, but I'll definitely remind you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe leave it till like the Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, okay, I'll set myself an Asana reminder now. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, okay. A lot of my show was filmed in hospital because I was in hospital when we filmed it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Those those opening shots of the... Of the um the drip going on and that sort of thing the uh yeah that's because i was in hospital at the time i see i see yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why it's got a very realistic production quality yeah yeah though because... i mean also i can set up a drip at home that's not yeah, yeah. difficult to do i mean i think i i would i i think you're absolutely right any images you can get or take in in the location you want Will be so much better than than trying to find stock images for these things because <laughs> they're never. They'll but never I was do it. also. I was also thinking about. Do we want it to be a realistic hospital? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or if we've got this version of me, mm. that's very stark and hyper realistic, can we create a graphic? that gives you the sense of a hospital without being photorealistic and how would that work mm -hmm. for that first scene mm -hmm. whether that would be an interesting way of showing what you can do with backgrounds and stuff mm. yeah yeah so similarly in a sense okay when, when you know you talk about the video was filmed in that the, the Vimeo the piece on, on on Vimeo was filmed in a hospital. Did did you? How did you? So there are parts of the room, if I remember correctly, that they're quite dark. It's quite a dark space you're in, is it not? Or is it? Ah, uh, so the the one you've seen on Vimeo yeah. used some of the footage from the hospital I and see. some of it from a theatre. I see. So at the beginning, there's those so close-up shots. The sound, the sound as well, of course, yeah. was recorded in the hospital. So there's another version of my show somewhere, which was done by Samuel Daw, where a, a lot of it was filmed in hospital because I was in hospital uh, at the time. I have And then seen we took chunks one. from that. I Ooh, see. Have yeah. you not? Oh, if you could send me a link to that, um, that'd be really helpful. Gosh. Um, if I could even like find it now mm -hmm. i know that i must have it somewhere okay okay but um, so this kind of this kind of graphic space is is a kind of theatrical space but it's got the kind of the sterile and banality of a kind of hospital as well at the same time is that is there something about that or is there is there a way of i'm just trying to sort of picture it in a sense the it feels like a set, but also feels like a hospital. It feels like I don't want to cliche it. <laughs> That's all. I'm trying to find it, find it, find find that kind of balance between what that is, what that sort of space looks like. What are the kind of characteristics of it? The screens involved, or whether it's, or is it like a watercolor of a hospital? Yeah. Um, I found the original, by the way, so I'll send you a link now. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, it's one where we filmed chunks of it in the hospital where I was and chunks of it in a theatre. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, that's really helpful. Okay. Good. Let me get this one. Oh, right. Brilliant. 
When did you do this one, Jamie? When was this? 2019. 2019, yeah. Perfect, okay. This nice. was one where we had to be to the Barbican a bit like, if I don't survive until the show, we'll have the film version instead. <laughs> Great. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Woo. Okay, good. I'm downloading it now. I shall, I shall have, a, have a look at, at that one later. That's really helpful. Good, 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 good. Um, right. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. So then I guess with this first section, mm. it's what would be the various ways of setting me in a hospital mm. that I'm kind of interested in. Mm. Like, I don't want to do a kind of here is a stock image of A and D because that's just not going to feel real. No. Um, but I almost wonder actually, here's a thought collage. Mm -hmm. That, like, imagine creating a kind of collage mm -hmm. out of chunks of pictures of hospitals mm. okay is that making any sense yeah yeah do you um, think is there is there a particular um should we stick to a content to con is it con it's more i presume it's, it's going to be quite contemporary scenes quite sort of quite yeah sort of nhs scenes we're not talking kind of like you know what i mean I imagine that's what it would be, but I don't know. Is that right? So quite yeah, that sort of, is like quite sort of used, used, uh, tired, used hospital environment. <laughs> yeah. Um. Like, our Canva isn't quite the right tool for this, mm. but it will do for the moment. Mm me to be a bit like there's like a torn up image of a hospital yeah here's like what i'll do is i'll screen share if there's a way of doing that in a moment what what, what if you i mean if it is quite collaged it would allow us that freedom to be a little bit more playful with the how with how we place you into it as well because it's yeah. it's quite it is quite tricky i mean i mean i can you know if i take you now in this picture here imagine this one. i haven't really shown you this yet but let's just try and do this here if we take you um where are we no i don't want to do that let me just bring you down here for a minute hang on so you see what i could do i can I can do all sorts of things where I can. Oh, hang on. Okay. Um, you know, no, not. Oh dear, that's not the right one. Um, yeah. So you see, I whilst I can make you bigger, I could bring. If it was a close up of a hospital, I could position you in something. I could. I can then, of course. Um, rotate you in a in a location i can duplicate you as well i can put you in different scenes in the same same place in the same scene your head might appear in two different parts i don't know i mean how collagey how sort of um playful do we get with with it i mean it might you know what i mean but because we're only Excuse working me. with with your head and shoulders it does give us that bit of bit of freedom yeah i mean ah. Uh um give me a second to try and like because i've got a kind of concept in my head sure that i will be able to share with you in a moment okay like, it obviously won't be the like a final quality level one 
mm. because I'm literally just playing with the idea now. Yeah, yeah. But it would like hopefully give us a bit of a sense of like what could be done. Mm -hmm. um, and also, obviously, in this version, I'm literally just copying images off Google. Mm. So I've not looked at the copyright on any of them. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm just exploring the concept. Um, but. Um, We can get quite abstract with it all. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, you know. Yeah, I am. I'm going pretty abstract in what I'm, mm. what I'm thinking about mm -hmm. here. Um, But we can, yeah, if it's a kind of sort of mashup, playful, pl you know, playing around with it. Um, What's the best way of me sending it? Is it just to email it to you? If you get, that's probably the best way, Jamie. I don't, I don't, you can either email it or we transfer it. How big is it? It's tiny. It's a, like, it's like a 10 second canvas job. Yeah, just, just, just email it to me. That's fine. That's great. Cool. I'll email it to you now. Great. Um. And then we could maybe bring it in hmm. and look at what it could look like. Yeah. That should be with you any minute. Okay. I haven't got it yet. Okay, got it now. Okay. Yep. Because then. Yep. Because then you could have something like, um, You've then got this, and you've got. I'm maybe a light it. source. Let me just bring it in. Let me imagine. Okay, with with light sources, you know what I can do is I can I can make filters in in uh, trans, sort of sl slightly transparent, different coloured filters that I can apply uh, on top of them. In yeah, the mix, in the mix that will give, give you that lighting effect. That will help. So what I'm just I'm just playing with this at the moment. Sure, because I think it will help me, like explain what I'm trying to do more than anything. Okay. Um, bring it, should, I, should I bring in that as a background then in this one here? If I put this background in. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Let's 
let's try. We can take out a few of these other layers. I don't know if you want to. No, I mean, take out the wings for the moment. Um, and then I'll send you another file called Hospital Collage Two. Okay. Which is my idea for the like the next bit mm -hmm. that one could play with. Um, where it goes into the like love is the remaining light at the window, where again I know this is something you'll be able to do far better in VMix, but I'm just sending you an idea of how sure. it could be lit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, apart from my head being in a slightly odd place there, oh, like, yeah. I like the way that I look just as distorted in the hospital as everything else does. Yeah. Like, it almost makes me look more realistic for everything being mm -hmm. a bit weird. Sorry, Jamie, wait me a moment. I'll just put you back on in the chair, as it were, just for the moment. Give you some idea, and then we can start playing from that point of view. I mean, with shots like that, if you had if you had some of that white black, some of that white um hospital sheet you could put around you you could see blend in quite seamlessly with with that with the chair picture you know? yeah i mean i've also got a hospital gown in yeah, that yeah. exact material have you okay okay yeah and that might that will then yeah that, that could sort of nice could sort of feed in quite nicely into it so you're sending me another picture yeah. Okay, I've got it. Yep. Okay. Bear with me, just gonna try and copy it across. Give me two give me two minutes while I do that. Oh wait, of course. So this would this image would be uh, another background then, Jamie. Is that the uh, is that the idea you're thinking? Yeah. So, or rather, it wouldn't. This it's not that this image would be another background. It's that the concept of this image. Yeah. Okay. Would be that like later on in the same scene, we've got the hospital having faded to that really murky black, mm. and me being in that glare of light. I'm with you. But I do quite like this as a way of representing the hospital, actually. Mm. I think done well. 
it's an interesting way of not having to lean to lean into a realism. Yeah. I'm trying to bring you in. I'm trying to find a way, way to bring it in. Sorry, it won't be a moment. But it's this kind of lighting. You want this sort of light. So you're lit in the middle of it. That's what you're after, isn't it? Yeah, so that you get that, like, yeah, yeah. theatre-ish. Sure. Just bear with yeah, me. so that, I mean, I know we don't have my head, but that's the idea that I'm going for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what we could do is it's quite easy for me to do a kind of shape, a kind of filter. So actually I could, yeah. I could, um, in actual fact, make that, that previous image. If I just show you, take that one off for a minute. Uh, where are we? So I could just put a filter on there so you would be illuminated. So it, so it would appear as though you are just in this kind of light beam, a light from above is kind of just picking you up. It won't cast any shadows, unfortunately. I can't, that's a bit difficult, difficult to do. But I mean, there are some natural shadows already in the picture, but um, I mean, it could, I could add some shadow to it, depending on how well I can line it up. I don't think we necessarily need to. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, I like that sense of floating. Yeah. Like the huge advantage, basically, of cheating a bit and going with collage is mm -hmm. that we don't have to get the light rays right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then my idea with that is very much that, like, as we go through the scene, that cha that the background fades in and out. Um, so I don't, there's, I don't think we need to try this right now. Mm. Um, but the section that is pink salt, morphine sulfate, high carb, low carb, antibiotics, ketogenic, pressured oxygen, anything they fucking want. Mm. Um, the idea that if we brought in lots of different collaged doctor figures, hospital figures, etc., mm -hmm. yeah. that put my face on all of them. <laughs> yeah okay yeah 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 okay so that i'm surrounded by like 10 or 12 people mm. all of whom have my face so kind of doctors all standing around holding clipboards and things like that i guess or... yeah but keeping this collaged energy yeah yeah Yeah, yeah. Again, it, I mean, the, the, I think the thing here is, is um, if there's any way we can actually access those kinds of elements for that collage, that we're not kind of just just sort of grabbing off, yeah, off sort of just by googling the next you know, images, image search. If we can take pictures, yeah, it's so much better. Because also that you get the same lighting, we can actually get if we get everyone in the same same lighting conditions, we, we can then collage it much nicer, to, quite nicely together. But I mean, unless you want that kind of real difference, I mean, it might be, it could be. I really I just, like that difference. Okay, okay, let's let's play with that. Let let me and play around. Like, with it. Let yeah, me a little play. Um, and then just this idea that like. In the in the like in the next scene, we've got all of these like cut out doctor figures with my face. Yeah, yeah. Like coming in and delivering those lines. Because mm, mm. again, that lets us play with some of the duplication stuff. Yeah, yeah. That we want to explore. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the idea of it just going to for the like that perhaps with the you're just not trying hard enough line mm. that line has them all in it mm. 
Mm. Maybe what we have is, I don't know how easy this would be. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like seven doctor figures. Mm -hmm. Only each of them has a mask for a face. Yeah. And then for each of the bits, so pink salt, morphine sulfate, high carb, low carb, etc. My face appears on a different doctor. Mm. And then for the you're just not trying hard enough. My face is on all of them. So for each line, each line, yeah, yeah. So yeah, pink salt is one, morphine sulfate. So you get the sense yeah. that they're all suggesting different things. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, you, it's you saying it. It's your face. But it's, appears yeah, on. it's me saying it, and it's yeah, my yeah. face each time on a different doctor's body. Got you, got you. And then you get all of the doctors at once. Yeah, with all, um, all with your face. Yeah, but you're just not trying hard enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. From the out, I am trying hard enough. We go to almost a stage blackout mm. with me under a single light mm. and all of that smoke mm. that you played with earlier. Yeah, yeah. So that I fall out of the hospital with that line completely. So just just run that past um, with with uh, on their faces. So, um, I've, I'm, I've, I'm recording this so I can look back at it. <laughs> Don't worry, I can get so it. So, we now, so let me, so let, so let's say that we now on that hospital collage, mm. we add in a whole bunch of different doctors mm. on a page of it. Mm -hmm. And those doctors, are like standing around me mm -hmm. in whatever way. What what are you what are um, you positioned on, Jamie? Just sorry, are you, are you are you similar to the shot we're looking at now? So you're you're, you're yeah, in a we're kind keeping of that shot chair. of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, good. So that stays the same, mm -hmm. and then we've just got all of these different like doctors appearing yeah yeah um oh here's a useful image that i'll just steal because it's got like five of them in it yeah yeah and then what happens is when i say the word antibi antibiotics mm -hmm. my face appears on the body of the first one yeah all right so pink salt and then for morphine sulfate my face appears on the body of a different one high carb different one again low carb different one again so we see my face here as it is now mm. on the top of my body yeah yeah saying the line yeah. but we also see my face simultaneously oh, yeah. saying the line yeah, from yeah. a doctor's body yeah and yeah. then for the line you're just not trying hard enough yeah my face is on all of their bodies right yeah Yeah, yeah. Well, what do you mention something else after that about it crashing out, about crashing out of the hospital, or cra how does that? How, what does that sort of look like again? Just remind me again how that, how that would, how you imagine. We did talk about <coughs> very, very early on. We talked about that, that, that very. Um, I can play. It, I, actually, I might lay it on top. Actually, bear with me a second. So, one idea. This is a collage. We're working mm. with a collage anyway. Yeah. So why not have the collage be torn up? Yeah, yeah. So the collage kind so of the breaks, collage just breaks apart. Te tears apart like paper. Mm -hmm. And falls to the floor. Um. Or not falls to the floor, but like tears apart somehow. What we could do is just remember we talked about that at the beginning as well. And that you were talking about that that smashing up as well. I don't know whether that's something you wanted to have involved in this bit. I want to play with text smashing up, but possibly a bit later on. Okay, okay. 
Um, but yeah, a similar thing though of like that background being torn up mm. and we're back to seeing me on an, on a stage basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, some of my like, some of the playing with text I want to do, mm. I want to do with the um, bravery section. Because mm -hmm. there I kind of want to explore a bit about how this could almost be a force for creative captions. Mm. Um, one of the other elements I want to think about is um, where Act 2 panel come in mm -hmm. and we've got yeah i hope you had i hope you both had an excellent lunch break and welcome back albia mm -hmm. virtually mm -hmm. like we've just had me burning and fading on stage mm. Mm -hmm. um, and then what we've got is this incredibly impersonal panel coming in. Yeah, yeah. And I wonder there about the idea of cutting to a video of somebody starting the Zoom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or indeed a live screen share but the idea that panel chair is the person that starts speaking with i hope you both had an excellent lunch break mm -hmm. do we see in some way panel chair setting up the zoom can do how do, how do they set up the zoom what in what way so a video in which a screen recording of their desktop in which they uh -huh. open Zoom and start the meeting. I see. So it's almost like a screen capture, a screen capture of someone starting yeah. a, starting up Zoom meeting. Oh, it's start meeting, blah, 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 uh, everyone here. Got yeah, so that, and then we see them letting the other people in. Hmm. And then and then how that interacts with the fact that this is taking place on Zoom. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So that so 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 it's almost like we're looking at the person's the, the, the kind of the person's screen who is starting the Zoom meeting, who is starting, yeah. who's sort of as if we are there. them. Yeah. So so we need to sort of think about what sort of what sort of wallpaper they've got on their computer, that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. And sort of little, little subtle, subtle details that tell us of this, this like sort a of pic disconnected. A picture disconnected of him with situation. his grandchildren. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that when he's really unpleasant, it's like, mm. but you're also, you also have you holding your granddaughter as your desktop mm. background, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. And then, because that then, throws the audience into a really weird complicity mm. yeah it might be easier to do i mean whether there's sort of pets or something i don't know whether that's easier or not grandchildren might be a tricky one unless we can get <laughs> particular children we could use or a stock photo yeah yeah you know if we've got like yeah, yeah, the yeah. back of the back of their head of like an older man holding hands with a young child Mm. Like, just from behind. From behind? Something that... Well, because then it's not identifiable. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, if we use a stock picture, it's not a problem. It's, it's copyright. It's, you know, if we, if we yeah. purchase a stock picture, then it's copyright approved. I also, I think... I may now have... Um, I vaguely remember seeing an email from typeset.com 
about that now giving me access to the full Getty image library. Oh, right. OK. So. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, and ca that's it. I've got a license for Canva that lets me use all of their yeah, yeah. images. Yeah, OK. So, like, um, if I search, like, photos, grandfather. Yeah, yeah. There's loads of, like, yeah, there's, like, a nice one from behind of a man holding hands with a young boy. Yeah, yeah. Like, we could also edit the face of the person playing panel chair. Right. Into a picture. Mm hmm So we replaced the face from Canva with his while the other face was the random stock photo child. Mm hmm Um... But the um, idea then that I think they're, we they're, they're, go these into are all good room. ideas. These are all quite yeah. These are good ideas if you to play with. They're quite nu nuanced sort of sort of suggestions of who this character is, isn't it? Is the sort of trying to sort of subtly suggest <laughs> who who the who the who the person is who's starting the the Zoom meeting. That's presumably the the the, the main panel leader, is it, Mister Ed, Doctor Edward? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Edward. Yeah. Um. The one that says, I hope so, you have excellent, excellent lunch. Yeah. Yeah. So um, there's kind of, there's on the panel, there's the character played by Marcel, who is doing it in BSL. Yeah. Um, and then Edward is the panel chair. Mm. Um, basically, bored, disillusioned, mm. has to balance the budget rather yeah. than really caring about the people anymore. Yeah. Um, Sarah, who's played by Jackie Adeniji Williams, is like young, enthusiastic, positive. Mm. So that's panel B, Sarah. Mm. And then panel A, John, is an incredibly kind of embittered social worker. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So actually, we could almost we could almost see each of them joining the Zoom from their computer yeah, as yeah. a way of getting a sense of each of them. Right, right. Because then we could have very different characters for them. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Um, and then I think that first panel scene... I kind of want it to be in VMix, I guess, mm. as if they've got them on. Oh, what's the, is it speak of you for the first section? So we uh, see Edward in big and the other three in small okay. and then panel A in big when he speaks. Right. So we had them. Um... Okay, so yeah, okay. First panel view is sort of speaker view. Yeah. And then, so then we've got. Do you think it might be worthwhile, with, rather than trying to, sim to simulate it? I mean, I don't know. Do you want to simulate it completely that it looks like a Zoom meeting in a Zoom meeting? Or do you want it to at feel like first, just I think, sort of yeah. form? It has the form of that meeting. I think at first I want it to feel like a Zoom meeting because mm. I want people to feel like they're suddenly thrown, they've been thrown into being in a Zoom meeting. Mm. Mm. So we want to feel like, like they're sharing their screen, don't we? Or we want to feel like we want art. What I want is for the audience to feel like they're the fifth person in the Zoom. Mm. For each audience member to feel like mm. they are in the Zoom. Mm. Yeah. We can, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's not a problem at all. Um, Jamie, there's quite a few things here now. I've got quite a, quite, quite a bit. Yeah. 
<laughs> and these ideas are really coming flow it flowing. So so I I think it would be good if we can I know I'm just conscious that we're gonna we're gonna meet again on Thursday. So it would be good for me to go away and do a few things. Let me just put us into a team team meeting. Here we go. Put us in there. So what do you think? So I could go away. I could go away. I've got tomorrow free. I can work on a lot of this tomorrow as well. So I could come up with I could come up with some more proposals, ideas based on what you've talked about. Um, but I but but it's still sort of quite sketchy. It'll still be quite sketchy and just ideas developing. But but ultimately, yeah. I think what we're leading towards for these, for these the next eight sessions after you've been after you've had your surgery after you've had a period of your your um, re, you know, you've recuperated from the surgery we can then get back into this at a stage that we feel we're we're ready to go so and that what would be useful then is to is to have that kind of script with the kind of storyboard attached to it that I can really work to and help you with. Um, and then all the sort of the contacts in the different act, different performers and participants and so on. And I can do quite a yeah, lot. So by... Sorry, Jamie, go ahead. Ah, sorry, continue. No, I can do quite a lot whilst you are, whilst after you've, after you've been to hospital, I can do quite a bit before we then meet again for the, for the following session after, after this week. So, and I don't know when that will be yet, but I can do quite a, quite a bit of work in between. Yeah, I guess what I've been hoping was that kind of, by the end of tomorrow, mm. not tomorrow, sorry, wrong word, Thursday. Yeah. By the end of Thursday's session, we kind of basically know what we're doing with the graphics for all of this mm -hmm. and what we're doing with the scenography. And yeah. maybe, maybe if some of the, some of the like visual assets, you're actually able to show me making mm. in Thursday's session. So that I can just watch you doing it on Photoshop. Okay. Okay. Because I will learn a lot about how to do it that way. Ooh, yeah. Um, okay. And like watch you dropping them into VMAX. Mm -hmm. Or indeed, honestly, me doing it while I'm screen sharing with you and me dropping it into VMAX and you watching. Yeah, yeah. What I can um, do, I can do, yeah, I can do, I can use VMAX desk. I can use a thing called VMix des Desktop Capture, which is where I can I can send my desktop of my PC. Is that working now? Let me have a quick look. I think that works. Let me have a quick look. Um, let me just try something. Wait me a moment. Um, Desktop capture. Is that the one? Is it using that one? Display one mail preview. Hmm, not sure. Is it this one? Maybe it's that one. Let me just check. Yeah, you see I can actually I can actually um <laughs> I can I can we have a feedback, feedback now. now. So I can so show, I can you, show my you my desktop. desktop. On my, on my Mac, Mac which is where I will be, be doing all, doing all my, my sort of, sort of Photoshop, Photoshop stuff. stuff. So I can, so share, I can that share that in VMix. VMix. That might be a really good way around, but also potentially for me to have Photoshop open and be having a go. Mm -hmm. Just because, again, like the more that I feel like as much as possible, I want this to be about me learning how to do the things. Sure. Sure. Um, very glad right now that this computer exists and that I've got a computer that can cope with this. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that my idea was that by the end of Thursday's session, we kind of knew what was happening in the footage throughout. Mm-hmm for these for these sections and then in terms of buying things once we've got a final list i can sort that out yeah um and the other eight sessions i'm wondering if it makes sense to do in like maybe two blocks 
weeks of four sessions or something so that Cryptic is renting a space, setting everything up there, mm. and we're using that space and doing a chunk of the work and then going away and then coming back and doing the same thing again. Yeah, uh, if if that's if that's realistic for everybody in terms of time and that sort of thing, if everyone's okay for time to do that, that's fine. And I mean, also, I think we would simply we would plan it carefully so that we were only bringing people in for the bits they were needed for. Mm. Um, that the doctor and the panel wouldn't need to be in in person anyway. Yeah. So that would just be booking out a bit of their time in one of the sessions to work. Mm -hmm. Then DL, we're using that video for at the moment anyway. Mm. Um, we could explore getting DL to do that bit live against their green screen. So I know they've got a green screen set up at home, mm. but we don't have to. And then the only bit that involves needing both me and somebody else is the more choreographed bit. Yeah, yeah. Probably around paralysis, where we might be able to with all of the bits of green screen I've already got, mm -hmm. plus the stuff that we're buying, that might be enough to patch together enough to do them and me. Um, or we might be able to find a rehearsal space to use for that, which already had some equipment. Mm. Um, but basically that our cryptic doesn't have a physical space. No. My house, is not a great solution, frankly, in terms of space. Sure, yeah, yeah. So we need to set up in an actual physical location. If we're doing that, it makes sense to do it for several days at a time. Mm. And, you know, maybe we do two days and we do four three-hour sessions in those two days. And then we have a break and then do another two days or maybe in two days we do three sessions mm. three sessions and then that gives us two other sessions left but the, i think the best way of really being able to get all of the tech all of the equipment etc working is to be in a physical space and possibly one that you're able to get to and we're able to get to mm. for at least some of the time mm -hmm. to really look at the best setup okay yeah, yeah. I'm happy to do that. you're right to none. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not, not too far from me. I can, I can get to you quite easily. Ditto. I can get to Brighton quite easily. I'm eight minutes from London Bridge by train. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um, but, or, you know, I'll, we'll, we'd need to find a space that had good internet and was big enough and things. That's the thing. Um, yeah. But if you're able to send some specs through on exactly what the space needs to have in terms of quality of internet mm. and things like that, then maybe while I'm off, Chris could be looking for some spaces that are big enough and have the meet, meet all of the required specs and potentially sure. have some more of the like green screen type stuff to make it a bit easier if we do end up needing enough for two people. Uh, sure, I can put that into a sign now. So those would be in Brighton specifically? Or... Um, London or London, Brighton, really. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Whatever's, I think for you, easier to, easier to, do, to do London, really. I mean, and then you've got all your, most of your people are near, near there, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, so then I guess like London-based rehearsal spaces that meet the specs that Paul sends over, Chris. And if we could just get some quotes on a few, mm -hmm. then once I'm back, we can maybe block in the time, rent the place, make sure we've got all the equipment mm. and then do a block of sessions 
all at once developing. We'll see how it goes, Jamie. I think. I mean, I think I'm happy to do that. More than happy to. I don't. I don't want. I don't want you feeling. It's quite. It can be quite exhausting. I don't want it to get too much. Too much <laughs> on one one day to do three out to do six hours on one day could be quite a lot of work. That's my only. Yeah, feeling. I guess it's it's a balance with that versus the kind of the work of getting all of the setup done. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. That otherwise we end up losing. Yeah. You know, if it takes us an hour at each end to get ready and finish. Mm. You want to use it, don't you? Well, yeah, think... you kind of want to get all the tech in place and then work with it. But once all, once all the, um, once all the kind of sort of digital sonography work is done, it's really down to you working out your timings and the sorts of sorts of stage direction, that sort of thing, and how how you want it to how you want it to sort of smoothly run. Um, and I think at that point, then we really do need to sort of think about the spaces. The kind of stage direction where people are looking and all those sorts of things if we can try and sort of get nailed the sort of sonography elements the digital scenes then it, then it will allow us to sort of play around with that a bit more so, so i guess so maybe then the like the first um the first block of in-person time might be getting all of that nailed down mm -hmm. And then the second block of in-person time might be around focusing more on the performance. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. I think I think I will we should we'll we'll leave it for today. I've got some things to go away with. Did you want to just recap on anything, Jamie, before we finish? No, but I was going to send you through a site a version of the script that i've made some notes on brilliant in case that's useful that'd be really useful thank you and i've made lots of notes i have recorded this so i could look back and see what we talked about just to make sure that everything was all right and um we're all good but it's been really Amazing. helpful really 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 helpful i've got a lot more a lot clearer ideas and that sort of thing going ahead now so that's that's really really good Brilliant, thank you so much. Great. <laughs> and then Thursday, I can hopefully learn a bit more about how you're actually putting it all together. Yeah, yeah. And have a go at doing some bits of putting it together myself. Absolutely, absolutely. So I will start to, yeah, exactly. And I, I shall try and go through it step by step. Uh, and it's obviously, sometimes they're just small little details that tend to get, I, I tend to forget, but they're quite crucial. Like just what sort of, screen size and what sort of um how to sort of yeah how, how how i how i tend to cut and paste and just move things around and just generally work with the software so for sure i will do a little bit of that one of the things i wanted to do i just mentioned it because i think it just because it's something i don't I, i'd imagine it's technically doable but i'm not quite sure how is is there a way in maybe illustrator i don't know of let's say you've got the word survive mm. in text creating a video that fills it in so it starts at a point on the s and mm. follows the s round and then starts to fill in the u as if someone was writing it um so so so, so it's being written handwritten you mean yeah I see. There is. I don't know what is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what the software is. I don't know whether it's probably Illustrator. It probably is Illustrator, and that's not a software I know very well at all. So, so. Um, but I think it can be done in Illustrator. Yeah, is it just occurred to me to Google it, and the answer yeah, is yeah, apparently yeah. After Effects. Is it? Could well be. Apparently, After Effects is good at it. Okay. Send me the, send um, me the link I don't... to it. Send me, a, send me a link to, to, the, to, to what you look, to, look for and I'll have a little look as well. Will do. I literally, um, I just, I, I literally just Googled um, something like make words appear as if being handwritten. Oh, really? Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And After Effects is a, is a way of doing it in After Effects. Well, that, that I can yeah. use. So that's, that, that, that I can look into. I got a bunch of videos come up that were like how to do it in Adobe After Effects. Yeah, yeah. 
That doesn't surprise me. It's probably the best way to work. Yeah, and I'm I'm not familiar with After Effects, but I've played with it a little bit, but and similarly, I can learn to be more familiar. Yeah, yeah. I can I can, I can share, share my, screen my screen like this, like this with um, yeah. After Effects. After Effects and... And the other thing we can do is I can also have it running so that I'm copying what you're doing. Right. Right. And then that way I'm learning it as we go. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. I'm echoing. I don't know why. <laughs> Feedback between one machine to the other. Um, okay. Good stuff. Okay, Jamie, I'm going to call it. I, I'll, I think we could probably do with a break. Yeah. <laughs> I, I certainly just, could. I'll... I know. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could. Uh, and I'll see you, see you tomorrow, about a nine-ish, nine o'clock, nine o'clock. Um, tomorrow. Oh, not tomorrow. Sorry, Thursday, 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 Thursday. I'm already a day Thursday. ahead of myself. Thursday, not tomorrow. <laughs> it's all good. I will see Sorry. you then. God, it's frightening you. No, see you on Thursday at nine o'clock, and I will see be working on some of this. Yeah, brilliant. All right. See you then. Thank okay. you so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye.